external parts. So firstly we can see here this is a mix low indicator. So normally when you start machine you have to add two and a half liter to make this light uh, distinguish. During the operation if this uh, uh, lit up uh, you should add uh, more mix. Uh, here we have the drawer handle. So when you need to draw ice cream, you just uh, pull it down. You can see the piston will move up, and that's a uh, stainless uh, steel rod that will operate a switch to start the machine. And uh, ice cream will come from here. And this is just a nozzle clip on and give you a star shape of the ice cream. If you don't have this one, your ice cream uh, will be round when it's uh, coming out. So we have the drawer handle. And uh, lower here, we have this uh, drip tray. So two parts, one is a plastic, and we have uh, two uh, nibbles uh, down there, and we have this uh, plastic just uh, hold on there so it won't come out. And we have this uh, stainless steel power. Uh, on here and so this is the front door uh, assembly we have uh, two knobs uh, hand tight uh, put it on there and for the switch we have this switch we have here another switch and the switch position so we have here if you look Okay, so for this left switch, middle is off, and here is on and auto, and the other side is for standby. So when your shop closed or during the night, yeah, this switch should be there. So vertical is off. And similar to this switch, you see we have a label sticker over there. In the middle is off. On the right, is ice cream making ice cream you put there left is uh, washing when you wash the uh, machine you put it to the left so uh, off position both switch vertical and when you want to wash you just put this switch to the wash position and uh, when you make ice cream so this switch should be put to auto that's uh, right position and this switch should be put to the ice cream position. During the night, you don't need to move this one, but you just change this switch uh, from auto to standby. So that's for during night operation. Other external parts you can see here. Uh, on the top, we have this uh, uh, cover. So the cover is uh, stainless one and inside the cover so we have this uh, this tube measuring the air and the mix and mix them up get into the freezing cylinder and the white one is the float this float link to the indicator tell you when you need to add new mix uh, another part is this this is the drip tray. So the, in the cylinder, you have the beater uh, inside the shaft of the beater get out and uh, coupled with the motor and the wheels. So there could be some drops, particularly if the O-ring need to be replaced or you put a too little grease on the O-ring. So this is a drip tray. You can put it in this side and you can also put this tray in from the other side let's see if we can see yeah so we have an opening there so either side depends on how you locate uh, your machine and uh, you can see a little bit maybe there's a wheel there inside so this is a external so you know the air were coming out from behind of the machine and the air will get in from lower part of this machine. So we have a two compressor inside. So 
uh, we're going to have another video showing inside parts. So that's external parts for Taylor 150 ice cream machine.